My name is István Turci from Budapest, Hungary. And in the following minutes, I'm going to read out a few of my poems in English, which are available in Spanish too, in my book, A Traves de los Años. Welcome. Explorers, exploradores. Since ancient times, the earth, like a spreading female body, waits to be explored. Poets came bearing clubs, pens, ready to probe the eternal sanctity of the moment. So have the scientists with IQs of 160 to solve the same riddle, eternal and sacred. The poets and the scientists are true explorers. They ogle the same thing. Oh, how a woman's body spreads. That everyone likes to explore, but they notice something no one has ever seen before. The next one is uh, a shadow. Sombra. A shadow is lying on my bed. Who sent it? Oh, bother. Whose is it? It's lying motionless, naked. Now it seems to look at me to nod a decent shadow at any rate, picking up from my kilt the discolored hairs of one-time women and setting my pillow right then with a homely gesture it offers me a seat. Sweat is trickling down my body in streaks. Oh, brother, I must be dreaming awake. I'm about to dismiss, oh, nonsense. How could shadows have bodies? Intellect, feminine gestures. Then, from the grey, bony filaments of the darkness, the faultless form of Eve is unfolding as if she had never been run over by a yellow lorry with a Turkish license plate as if she were alive and breathing blithely she's lifting her finely crooked thin arm as if to invite me only the stunning bang of the bathroom door can stifle her unforgettable voice. The next one is uh, The Outsider. Extranjero. I looked in the mirror since I have been on earth, I've got a few millennia older. Lava stopped flowing long ago. My features hardened to magma. Along my mouth's line of flow, the granite and gneiss are cracking. Dinosaurs have become extinct from my eyes. Even the continents converge no longer. In my eye sockets lie lime and dolomite deposits. This is the end. On my face, speckled with tiny islands, the stains of ocean sink slowly. Home to coral, to calcareous snails, seashells, lobsters. On my temple, Creases of mountains. Since I have been on earth, I've lost a modicum of energy. My heat conductance isn't what it was, and of late I have developed some kind of magnetic disorder. Is this the end? 
in my cells radioactive decay has set in. The process, it seems, cannot be undone. Put mechanically, irreversible. This is the end. This may be the last tectonic smile as I confront myself and time. Alone, my work not done. Yet with ancient cheer I stand before the mirror of creation, awaiting instructions, if any, Lord. The very next piece of poem is uh, entitled The Shadow of Rubain and Alfonso Coincide. Sesolapa la sombra de Rubén y Alfonso, and it was written in South America, in Nicaragua, when I was invited to a beautiful, memorable literary festival. Let me see and find the poem. The shadow of Rubain and Alfonso coincide. There is the hand that creates, you asked, at the end of our trip inside the cool, closed, eyed church. Like two street musicians without instruments, we sit on the stone floor of the aisle. Do not expect my amazement. You never know when your words start to affect someone. Like a time bomb, something tightens, rattles in your brain until it finally explodes. They, the seers of death, are wiser than us. If I close my eyes, I can see them as they lie next to each other, and like the grass they inhale the light of the underground. The basis of every belief and despair is the unchangeable. Night is falling, and it shall fall tomorrow too. While this poem stubbornly runs ahead in the paper meadows of Elysium, Write the way others pray. Live the way others die. Die like the sun, with dignity. You never know when your words start to affect someone. Our adult sons, lava-eyed daughters, reproach our selfishness in vain. We'll cry because we miss them. We'll cry because they miss us. Then we bow our, he our heads, rest in the coolness of the cathedral and in the slow, farinaceous brightness seeping through the fissures of the interconnected shadows, we collect a palmful of hope. Thank you very much for the attention you pay to me. Take care and see you.